Canal 54, su canal de opinión. Gary Christensen Fantastic English Show, la forma divertida, sencilla y gratuita de aprender inglés. Gary Christensen Fantastic English Show. Are very important. All right. We always begin our program after smiling with pronunciation. Today, we will practice how to pronunciate the word surmise. This is calcular, okay, or adivinar. So, I will pronunciate the word and you Please repeat. Now, one important thing. Al final de esta palabra, S-E is pronunciado como una Z de una sangudo. Z, Z. Listen to me. Sir, my Z. Z. This is una Z. Sir, my Z. Sir, my Z. Very good, okay? Now remember, do not begin this word with an E. No comienza esta palabra como estudiante. Do not say e surmise. No hay e. The S in English is como la S de un serpiente. Serpiente. Good? Serpiente or ser. Mize. Very good. Sir Mize. Very good. Look at your example. Can he surmise correctly? I, I will repeat. Can he surmise correctly? Puede él calcular correctamente. Ok. Uh, vamos a mi cara. And I will look for your video. When you practice the videos, when you practice pronunciation during the week, it is important to try and practice pronunciation every day if it is possible. Pronunciation is very, very difficult. So please have confidence, tiene confianza, in the many things that you can do. Okay, vamos a su pantalla ahora with the word surmise. Hi, welcome to Daily Pronunciation. Today's word is surmise. This is both a verb and a noun. As a verb, it means to guess or conjecture. For example, you can say... We can surmise that he doesn't want to live here since he's barely been home lately. Now I am going to demonstrate how to pronounce the word. Please watch closely how I use my lips, teeth, jaw, tongue, and facial muscles to say the word surmise. 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 Sur Surmise. Surmise. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Hi, welcome to Daily Pronunciation. Today's word is surmise. This is both a verb and a noun. As a verb, it means to guess or conjecture. For example, you can say, We can surmise that he doesn't want to live here since he's barely been home lately. Now I am going to demonstrate how to pronounce the word. Please watch closely how I use my lips, teeth, jaw, tongue, and facial muscles to say the word surmise. 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 Sur 
surmise, surmise, surmise. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. All right, wonderful. I hope you are learning new words and how to practice the correct pronunciation in your house. Pronunciation means that you have to practice every day and it is a long process. You cannot learn pronunciation in one year, two years, or three years. You need a lot of time. So please have confidence and have patience with the words that you are learning. All right, let's continue with your phrasal verb for today. Vamos a su pantalla. And, oh, wow, it is excelente hoy. Oh, excelente. Okay, today we have the word wipe out. Now, wipe out, these are dos diferente palabras. Out is a foot and wipe is como limpiar con un trapo. Okay? You put them, unirse, you put phrasal verbs together and they have a different meaning. Wipe out out has many, many meanings. The first meaning is aniquilar or destruir. Okay? These words are only a few meanings of the word wipe out. Record the key wipe out phrasal verbs in English tiene muchos, muchos different significados. Look at your example, okay? So let's practice the pronunciation, okay? Wipe out. Remember, tiene un T al final de esta palabra. The T in English is como una scupe. Wipe out. Very good, okay? Again, wipe out. Wipe out. Now, in English, we use, nosotros usamos phrasal verbs todos los días. They are the most important verbs in English. So, usted entiende phrasal verbs. English is easy. But also, phrasal verbs are difficult. All right. Look at your example. So, I will pronunciate slowly. You repeat. The, call me Fletcher, okay? The tidal wave wiped out. Oh, I forgot my articulo. The village, I forgot my articulo, okay? The tidal wave wiped out the village, el pueblo. Lo siento, okay? In Spanish, el tsunami destru destruyó el pueblo. Again, now remember, look at my, look, bear me Fletcher. TH, students have a difficult time con la TH. The TH in English is you saca la lingua, modelo, uh, soplar afuera, and chupalo adentro. Oh, Gary, this is difficult. Bad este, okay? Con V is L. V, V, very difficult sometimes. V, let's practice. V, tidal, this is tidal, this is tsunami. V, tidal wave wiped out the Village. Village is Pueblo. Okay? El tsunami destruyó el pueblo. Muy